Hey guys, it is Adrienne and I am doing my second weigh-in for and weekly update for 2014 and um, I am happy to report a loss. I lost one pound. I am down to 268. Uh, it's not exactly what I wanted. I wanted more than that and I thought I was going to get more than that, especially since I haven't lost anything in a few weeks due to poor management at the holidays as it were. So uh, yeah, I was kind of disappointed with one pound, but after thinking about it, it's still a pound loss. And if I was counting the dot blahs, it would actually be more than just a pound. It would actually be closer to 1.8 pounds. But um, I don't. So it's one pound. <laughs> so yeah. But other than the uh, whiny about a pound uh, thing, uh, this week was kind of interesting because I was getting back into the stop the snacking kind of situation. And for people who've lost weight and actually have like food addiction or problems with eating, it's it's an interesting thing, or at least it's interesting in that I wish it would stop kind of way. So for me, after about 7 or 8 p.m., it doesn't matter what I'm doing and it doesn't matter if I'm actually hungry or not, I'm usually not, I get carb cravings. It's usually carbs, sometimes it's sugar, mostly it's carbs. Um, I desperately want to eat every single carb in the house. It's like I want bread, pasta, uh, cheese, it's anything, chips, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Uh, salty is probably preferable over non-salty, but I just want to eat everything in the house. And it's this weird mental battle and it's hard to explain because I'm pretty sure normal people do not have these fights, internal fights. It, from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m., but um, Monday was the hardest, and uh, I guess the big thing is that I'm trying to explain how it works. So pretty much what happens is I'm done eating for the day. It is 8 p.m. I am not hungry. I know I'm not hungry. I've probably already worked out by this point, sometimes not, but if I'm not, then I'm probably not having this internal battle. But uh, I'll start thinking about, say, I want popcorn. I mean, it's just like, I want something. I want to eat something. And then it's like, no, you're not hungry. You've eaten for the day. You don't need anything. You've been good. You are you don't get anything. And then you just think about it. You think about it and you think about it and you think about it. And, you you know, the simple answer is don't think about it, right? End, end the battle, internal battle. But it doesn't always work like that because it's just that little internal mind just kind of yap, 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 yap. Um, I mean, really, it's it's really no different than, say, alcoholism or something. It's just instead of booze, I'm thinking about food. And um, it took me on Monday, uh, not this Monday, last Monday, but um, it took me seriously between 8 p.m. and something like 11.30 of me just arguing with myself about wanting cheeses or popcorn. And it's like, well, but if I don't put butter on it, then it's probably fine. It's like, no, I eventually won. <laughs> I guess if you want to call it that. And I'm like, look, just, just, you can't do this. You're not getting anything. Stop thinking about it. And it finally got to the point where I agreed with myself and kind of gave up that weird mental devil angel argument but um, I'm pretty sure it'll get easier as it goes but until then it's just this it's frustrating it's frustrating and maybe I'll just have some of these battles for the rest of my life once in a while I'm betting as I go on it'll get easier because uh, it wasn't that hard last year when I got into the swing of things and just got into a routine that I didn't eat after dinner it was fine Ooh, water bottle um, but right now, since I'm kind of re-ramping up the whole stop the bad snacking, uh, it's hard <laughs> and I'm struggling a little, uh, n none of the days, none, none of the days were as bad as, uh, Monday, but that was the first day pretty much that I started really getting into it again. And, uh, I've had a few other arguments with myself that about exercising or about whatever, and it's just strange internal conversations. Um, do you guys ever do that? Do you ever just have these internal conversations with yourself about 
whatever. And I mean, it gets down to your bargaining with yourself. I mean, you're trying to bargain like, well, but if I do this, then I can do that, right? Or, well, maybe I just won't do this later, or maybe I'll work out an extra 15 minutes so that I can have that popcorn, or whatever. Um, for me, the answer is I have to never let that win because if I'm actually hungry, a little package of carrots and a tablespoon of hummus is going to sound fantastic. If I'm not, I probably still want the chips and not, you know, chips or popcorn or whatever, and not the carrots or the celery and the hummus. So, I mean, it's a pretty good litmus test as far as that goes, but it's just, it confuses me that I have these internal battles and that they are hours long. So it's like, it's like, no, you're not doing it. But maybe, I mean, it's just like literally, I've spent five minutes describing it and I am saying the same thing over and over. So I think you're either gonna understand or you're not. <laughs> as far as what I'm talking about, but, um, I am happy with one loss, uh, one pound loss, and I'm hoping to do better this week. I've been a uh, really good, you know, for the whole two days that, uh, with exercise and stuff like that. So, uh, I think I'm doing pretty well and I'm hoping to see that reflected on the scale because I need that scale to go down. And, uh, yeah. So here's to a loss week and weird internal conversations. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you're all having a fantastic week.